Okay, I think I might have got it fixed. I have to keep an eye on it though. I think it's working. On to the game. Which I'm actually going to... New game, and we're going to go with normal mode. Hold ZL and bring up combatant's health shield and status. Alright. For those of you just tuning in, this is Regalia. It is a, it looks like a tactical JRPG for the Nintendo Switch. Thought it looked interesting. Our story scene. begins in the Rashtil Expanse, where the wind races across empty plains. It is a sad, hostile land, a wild frontier, and a gateway to lands unknown. In ages past, Rashtil had a heart, the city-state of Ascalia, ruled by the Great House Loran. Indeed, over centuries, it came to be known as the Gem in the Realms, earning respect from all races under the sun. But the Crusades changed that. Attracting the ire of its neighbors, Ascalia was lost to the flames of war. With its marble bones laid to rest, the city has slept ever since, until now. In a distant country, a father lies on his deathbed. For his entire life, he has kept a secret Yet now, the truth is finally revealed. His only son, Kay, learns that Ascalia belongs to his family, the noble house Lauren. As the sole remaining heir, it is his destiny to face that heritage, to restore the ancestral kingdom. Aided by his two sisters and a trusty bodyguard, young Kay sets out on a journey to the Rashtil Expanse, to Ascalia. The legend is about to be retold. Regalia of Men and Monarchs. Nice little classic rock riff there. Uh, hello, my name is...
is Gwendolyn Lauren, and I guess I'll have to be your guide here. Do me a favor, at least try to read these pop-ups, perhaps you'll learn something. Alright, you can navigate through the dialogue by pressing A, and you can skip cutscenes by holding Y. If so, you will be given a brief summary of what happened afterwards. Cutscenes that require you to make a choice cannot be skipped in this way. Alright. I probably won't be doing much skipping of the cutscenes, seeing as this is my first playthrough. But, good to know, good to know. And so, on a promise made on the father's dying breath, our hero arrives to fulfill his destiny. Oh, I have to press A. Okay. For great justice! Wait, but that's not our hero. This is our hero. I'm not gonna get used to that. I can't Press feel my legs. <laughs> Steal yourself, young master. We're almost at the castle. Right. <laughs> this place is a mess. Not quite what I was expecting. Ah, but surely you aim to restore this place to glory, young master. You are, after all, its rightful ruler. Well... What a terrible, terrible dump. Glorious kingdom, my ass. Ooh. Remind me, whose idea was it to come here again? Actually, I'm pretty sure both of you insisted. Come on, sis, isn't this exciting? It's like we're heroes of a book, on an adventure, or something. <sighs> well... I suppose we may as well try to salvage something from this terrible misunderstanding of a trip. Uh, salvage? Onwards, minions! To the castle. Maybe there's something valuable left, at least. Minions? I like that this game doesn't take itself too seriously. Scenes like this, you'll have direct control of K. Gwen may complain, but she's very keen on coming here too, right? <laughs> It'll be okay, trust me. Good things are easy, very easy. So that's one of my sisters, I believe. I'm guessing all of these lead to the same place, but I'm not sure. Castle Lauren is where I have to go. I was in Town Square. Yeah, I think I got it figured out. <clears throat> um, I updated my OBS and then I restarted my PC quick. And it seems to be working now. How's it going, Derek? Not much of an improvement. Ugh, 
Don't remind me. Loot and scoot, boys. Well, at least she has her priorities straight. Look, young master, such exquisite pieces of armor. <laughs> Aha! No, wait. Rat poop. I must say, the inhabitants must have had a remarkable grasp on... What's this, big bro? Just some tea I found in a pot nearby. Tastes like dust and ashes, but, you know, <laughs> it's still tea, right? Wait, what? <laughs> you do realize that you just poured stuff from an urn. As in literal ashes. Oh, shit. Them? This is an outrage! My rest interrupted! My remains defiled! Prepare for severe punishment! <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. How are you doing? <laughs> I... what? Son, you're the one who drank my ashes, so you know some manners, eh? Maybe an introduction. I. That a thing? Do you often wander into other fellows' households, slurping their debtors? Hmm. This is Kay of House Lauren, heir apparent to this revered establishment. Ghost or no, respect is in order. Uh, but. Oh. <laughs> So you're a Lauren, Sonny. Funny story. That would make me your grandfather. The Cineralis of House Lauren, at your service. Though I imagine being dead limits my options. Is this real life? So, heir apparent, is it? Good for you. I thought you'd be taller and bulkier. And, you know, smarter. That ashes stuff? Big no-no. Rocky start, my boy. Uh, look. Anyway, since I'm already here, might as well help you get right on track, hmm? Fetch me the customer. Oh, joy. I don't think there's one left around. Bullshit, son. We Laurens are proud folk. And this... This... Uh... Uh... Is a dump. At least he agrees, of all people. Seriously, what have you people done to the castle? Is it that bad? What about the village? This ain't right. This ain't right at all. But you're the heir. You'll be putting all of this back together? Well, indeed, noble spirit. As we live and breathe, we shall see to it that young master will... Bring, uh, uh, look, I'm sorry about the ashes, and I appreciate the offer, I really do. But we came here looking for a family estate, not ghosts and ruins. Nobody expected this. This is crazy. But you're the heir. Sorry, this just won't work out. I think I'm gonna switch something real quick, just so looks like you can see the text a little better. Maybe if I do. Um.
None of these, and none of these different. Hmm. That might work better. Okay. Then we will. I think that'll work better. All right. All right, back to the game. What Thomas? Wait, where are you going? Wait, you lot! I ain't done with you! Ah, kids these days! Griffith seems like the, the one guy in your group that's way too into RP. <laughs> What was that all about? I needed to collect my thoughts. Sure looked like a temper tantrum to me. It's just too much, you know? One day we're heirs to an ancient city, then it turns out that there's nothing left standing and that the whole errand was pointless. And last but not least, there's a crazy ghost who wants us, me, to rebuild this place as if I'm some sort of king. You do know you kind of stepped into that one yourself. So what is your plan, young master? We're leaving this place. But... We're not heroes. We may be of House Lauren, but so what? This place is ancient history, nothing more. Did someone say House Lauren? Uh-oh. I don't trust him. Well, let. With whom do I have the pleasure? How rude to demand the name of another before introducing oneself. Very well. The lady has a point. Walter Crucy, I represent the Furtive Union. The Furtive Union? I take it you are not familiar with our organization, then? Speaking concisely, we are men of business. Sometimes we invest, sometimes we lend. But mostly, we reclaim goods deemed impossible to vindicate. So you're debt collectors? Correct, more or less. But that still leaves us in the dark over your identity. Or your rather puzzling presence in this God's forsaken place. You were not supposed to be here. Well, I do not like your tone. This is Kay, heir to House Lauren, inheritor of Ascalia, hey, the what's rightful up, master of this city. If anyone remains the intruder, it is your entourage, Mr. Crucy. Is that true? You are the heir, young man? By the gods, Griffith. You would doubt our word? Interesting. That is an excellent turn of events. We shall kill two birds with one stone. Oh? 
Regretfully, I have to inform you that your holdings and possessions back home have been confiscated. What? What? How the hell? If you truly are K of House Lauren, then by virtue of law, you have also inherited the obligations placed upon this land. Monetary obligations. Obligations? In short, your ancestors have left you a rather staggering debt, my lord. Show me. What? <laughs> Yeah, some of the some of the voice acting seems a little hit or miss, and some of the enunciations of the sentences seem a little off. But it's a low budget game, from what I can see. How is that even possible? The zeros need a separate sticker to fit on paper. I am afraid that for all their prestige and renown, your grandsires appear to have been rather indulgent people, my lord. Shall we proceed with the execution? But, but I don't have that kind of money. That is unfortunate. Also ironic, given their wealth of history here. I can't believe it. All of this, the whole city, lost because of a debt? Why, no. It got destroyed during the Crusades. The debt, you see, is an older development. The Crusades? But enough angsting over history. Business first. Let me introduce you to my assistants. Incoming combat tutorial. <laughs> Mr. Knight, what are you doing? You will not harm them. Please, we are civilized people. Punching, albeit enjoyable, would give us little benefit, at least for now. The truth remains, however, that you indeed seem unable to procure funds. Thus, I propose a deal. A deal? You are a king right now, young man, of sorts. Your title still has hold in Rashtil. People respect it, and respect is money. I propose you seize what chance you have, rebuild this city of yours, revitalize it. Is this a trick? <laughs> Why would it be? Consider it an investment of trust on our part. And if I refuse? You seem to have misunderstood my position, my lord. It is not an if. Not a but, not a maybe. Do it, or payment shall be extracted through different means. Considerably less pleasurable, if I may add. <laughs> Big bro. I am a reasonable man. We shall split the debts into parts, each to be paid in regular intervals. Would that be acceptable? You're asking us to do the impossible. No, we are asking you to do the improbable. But this is a chance now. One surely worth taking. I urge you to act as soon as possible. Time is money, and you cannot afford to waste it, my lord. And this is our cue to leave. The accord has been reached. Nothing else remains to be said. Soon, I will contact you through mail. I bid you farewell. But this is insane! The deadline is approaching. Tick tock, tick tock. Uh, I thought I was going to get to fight. Unfortunate. Are you alright, big bro? Give me a minute. Okay. Thoughts? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? It's not like we have any other options. Yeah. Did did they really sell Dad's estate? That's evil. Does it change anything? 
Wasn't Master K planning to make his ancestors proud anyway? Well, technically... Uh, you know what? Never mind. No, go on. How do you feel about this? I'll be honest with you guys. I don't like this one bit. Aside from the debt thing, whoever or whatever should be doing spring cleaning here, it's not me. Not us. But then comes the debt thing. And we don't really have any choice anymore. I hate it. We must. Damn it. This is so depressing. Annoying, more like. What's the big deal? Can't hurt to try. And you have that alleged grandfather to help us, right? Oh, that's true. I have completely forgotten about him. I do not expect him to be happy about the debt. Uh, no, he won't be. But that's not going to be the worst part of the conversation. Ah, uh, oh well. To the castle, then. Off we go to beg and moan. Yay. Yeah, there's been a lot of talking, a very little action so far. Not that I dislike it, but... Looks like after each cinematic, it gives you a little summary of what happened. And that's how it went. Hmm, nasty buggers, them FUs. So it looks like you'll be needing my help after all, eh? Ah, oh. <laughs> funny how it works. Yes, the irony is not lost on us. Just tell me what to do. Let me see. Hmm. A king ain't a king with no people to lord over, yeah? So that's the first thing. Get someone to move here. Any pair of hands would be a resource right now. Also, perhaps it'd be worth looking into that whole debt business, you know? What do you mean? That loan shark ain't exactly what I'd call the most trustworthy person around. What you got was scraps, and we need facts, writs, documents, the whole story, my boy. Call me a sentimental dead sod, but I can't imagine my kiddos ruining the kingdom over money. Crusy mentioned wars. Crusades. There you go. Something worth looking into, hmm? Ah, oh, and Sonny, you're not alone. Those sisters of yours, that stern-looking chap, you're all House Lauren. Do not try to think everything through by yourself. You have four heads. Use them. And there's you. Oh, right. About that. I'm hopping in. Huh? Don't harm me, boy. Like it or not, technically, I'm inside you now. Ew. And this means our fates are tied for now. And believe me, you'll need me. Oh, yes. In other words, you'll be lugging me around wherever you go. Oh, gods. Oh, <laughs> Just kidding, but I appreciate the enthusiasm. My spirit is bound to these walls, likely for good. Bloody shame that. I would love to see how the world's changed over all these centuries. What was it like back then, Grandpa? Uh, probably nicer if you don't count the gnomes. I'll tell you some other time. Cool. The gnomes. But the gnomes are still around. They are? I knew it! The business savvy midgets! They'd outplay you faster than a gambler with a stacked deck! That's great! Irritating and bipolar, I see. Gwen? Now, I may be a racist old codger who has mixed feelings about them gnomes, but they know their stuff, and you do need their stuff. Which is? Surely you've heard. Pretty much everything they touch turns to gold, and you need gold. No? You're gonna need trade routes, and they're born tradesmen, Sonny. If anyone can help you make the coin flow again, it's them. As much as it cramps my spectral butt to say so. I see. Right. Time to get to work. Um, I think it's a tactics-based 
I I haven't played any of the combat yet, but I think it's tactics based combat. Oh, one more thing. Before you do anything, Sonny, have you uh taken a good look around? Castle's a mess. Unless you want to be king for dust, Mike, I'd suggest the four of you grab a mop and declutter it. No way in hell I'm going to clean. I, uh, I'm allergic to dust. Gee, thanks, guys. Oh man, cutscene to cutscene to cutscene. Uh. Oh, you know some simple things. Spider webs, rubble, dust, lights. Ooh, combat. Whoa. By the gods, that's one huge and ugly. Perhaps this is the brood mother of those things. I wonder if it flies. Oh, for the love of... Are we really talking about this right now? Just hit it. Hit it. This might be some cleaning I can bear. A lot of loading screens, though. Defeat all enemies. Uh, Let's just go auto deployment. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, we'll finish deployment. Go from there. Yeah, yeah. Combat's can move multiple times during an activation as long as they have movement points remaining. However, combatants can perform only one action per activation. This can either be using a skill or an item. When you are done, end case actu activation by pressing Y. Seems like every button does something. Let's just get out into the fray and maybe try to shoot something. Oof. All right, and then I end his action. I think I don't think I can do anything else, right? How do I end it? Or can I do his? Doesn't look like I can do his yet. Is it that? Uh, why? I'm not done yet! Oh, I can still do stuff. Command, rend. I will try to mark an enemy, why not? Uh, I'm not sure how to end his turn.
Okay. It's just why. I guess I, I got two turns for their one, maybe. I don't know. Okay, wide end action. Yeah, that's what I pressed before, and it just gave me another turn, so I was confused. For great justice! For grape juices. Boisterous challenge. Taunt for two turns. I guess I can taunt something. current health and shield values. In Regalia, health cannot be replenished during combat in any way. Instead, combatants can temporarily gain shields which allow them to absorb and damage. Since shields are depleted before health, it is important to generate them preemptively using skills and items. Beware though, there are numerous ways to bypass shields, and if they are available, mostly to your enemies. Hey, life and fair. That's gonna take me a little bit use get used to the controls. Right at you. That one's and dead. Stay down. I'm not done yet. I have no idea why it damaged the broodmother. Let us strike. Um Yeah, let's just as I used to target some range. Probably be generating shield, but I don't think it's going to be that bad. At your side. Ongoing effects, pass abilities. As you might have already noticed, your skills involve more than just headbutting stuff. Your skills apply positive or negative ongoing effects to their targets. These are always displayed at the bottom of the skills tooltip. Passive abilities are special types of ongoing effects unique to each combatant. These are infinite in duration and typically reflect the combatant's playstyle. All ongoing effects currently afflicting the combatant are shown in the character's detail view. This is where you will find the combatant's passive ability. So, let's slice down these guys and go get the boss. Wait, who am I? I'm on him. Yeah, can I still do stuff? Yeah. That's uh too close to negative. Alright. Oh. I wonder if there's stuff like uh attack advantage for surrounding foes and stuff like that. Uh. 
Yeah, that's what I was just looking at. Looks like those are unnecessary. I'm gonna try to spread my guys out, see if I can't avoid both of them taking damage. The time is now. He's got 155 health, he's got 157. Let's see what other abilities he's got. finish off any of these right now. Maybe that will take care of some of the negatives. Oh my gosh. Well, he's dead in the turn too. Might be replaying this fight. Here we go. Know a little bit more at least. Let's see what this flag, what this banner does. to him. Probably missed. The time is now. Didn't help that I missed last turn. Oh. This might hit both of them. so they can't surround me. Yeah, it seems... Here we go! I'm just wondering if it's gonna let me die. I don't know why. I probably didn't want to do that. Can't hit anything. No, well, that was a waste of a turn. Can I go back? Nope. Yeah, it looks like I'm I might be immune. I got a lot of movement. For great justice. Alright, this guy's almost dead. But I still missed him. They're gonna surround me now. Okay, yep, I can die. <laughs> the X command. Uh, I, I think it resets my cooldowns or something. I'll have to look at it. For great justice! Might give me another turn. One dead. Victory for House Lauren. All right, now X. Do not falter. Yeah, it lets me attack again. I don't know if there's a limitation to that. If that's ability point based. May your gods take you. Unfortunately, I do not have any more shielding abilities, though. I don't know if it'd be worth it for me to stay out of melee with this guy first. I don't know what his close range attacks are. Uh, maybe Push if I press back. X again. Ah. He's 
really low. Do not falter. I'm using up all my ability points right now. No. Missed. I can't use any more. So I guess that's the end. Dust cannon. Missed. Might actually win. For great justice. For great juices. Oh, I missed. Can I press X again? Yes, I can. Do not falter. Wonder if this would be easier on the touch screen. Well fought. Friendly fire is a thing. Okay, good to know. What oh. is this place? An armory? Well, well. I think you should look at this, sire. Sire? Sire. Uh, what? That? Uh, okay, coming. <laughs> yes, I almost died during the tutorial. Victory. Find? Wait. A sketch of House Lawrence. Have a good one, Stoic. That's exactly what we need. Oh, but it's incomplete. Damaged. That's a start, no? Well, what do you mean? Look at it as one looks at a foundation. With this, you get a tangible base to build upon. Questions to answer. People to look for. Names to check. A direction, so to speak. Which is exactly what we need right now. I am sure that eventually we will be able to fill the blanks ourselves. Uh, you're right. Let's show this to the girls, Griffith. Agreed. And as unenthusiastic as they were, let us hope they have cleaned up the main hall. I'm sure Grandfather would nag them to death otherwise. Oh, by the way, before we go... This seems out of place. Indeed, it does not resemble any of the other armors around the castle. Thoughts? It seems Lord Amarian in origin. Sun symbols everywhere. Plenty of ornamentations, highly impractical, perhaps used for ceremonial reasons. In all honesty, it is hard to tell sometimes. Lord Amar's knights like it's gaudy. Lord Amar? The kingdom of Lord Amar to the east? Militant sun worshippers? The very same, yes. Why would a Lormarian armor be locked in here? We're in Rashtil. That's far, far away. A gift from a king, perhaps. Hmm, could be. I uh, think we should do something with it. If it doesn't involve Lady Gwen pawning it off for money, then yes. I was thinking more along the lines of main hall decoration. Moving it somewhere more presentable. I do not see why not. All right. Hop to it. <laughs> Sometimes I think you and your sisters are more alike than you imagine, young master. You're back. How did it go? To be honest, we didn't really clean much, but we found this. What's that? Looks like a family tree. Our family tree, I assume. Yeah. You know, this may actually be useful. We're going to need stuff like this if we want to get to the bottom of this debt business. Our thoughts exactly. Oh, but it's more than that. You can't be narrow-minded in this, boy. It's not just about who borrowed what, you know? 
If you want to be a king, you need legitimacy. And that means history, lineage, solid facts, everything that constitutes rulership. You may frown upon this, Sonny, but there are folks who buy into this more than they buy into money. It's a chunk of knowledge that will help you in the long run. I agree. If we are to be nobility, we need the bearings of nobility. And if it helps us on more than one front, all the better. But I can't be running around dusting off Chronicles. There are things to do right here, right now. You're not alone in this, big bro. Remember? Let me handle the... Mm, boring ancestry stuff. I'll be digging into documents and family affairs while you do your thing. Which I assume will involve whacking uglies. What about me? What about you? I want to help too! How about no? I think that's an excellent idea. I'd appreciate it if you two would work on this together. Are you serious? You heard him? <laughs> oh, come on, sis. Why the long face? It's going to be fun! Ah, also, I bet your duties will take you all over Rashtil, Sonny. Methinks you should also ask the nice ladies over here to look after the city while you're away. All in all, you're in this together, hmm? As a family. So are you, old fart. Ho oh, ho ho, but I'm dead already. Can I trust you with this, then? Leave it to us. What about you, Griffith? You know my answer. I swore an oath on your father's dying breath that I would not leave your side. I shall follow you in the field should you call me to do so. Very well. What's our next step? I may have a thing, Kay. While you guys were gone, I took a sightseeing trip around the city. Turns out there are still some people living in the area. Really? Yep. There's an inn near the crossroads, not far away from the gates. I saw light coming from inside, so they're most likely still in business. Here, big bro. I'll show you on the map. Ho oh, ho ho! That's excellent news! If anything, you should go and introduce yourself. You're going to be their ruler. Ugh, mingling with peasants. What exactly will this accomplish? Now, now, young lady. A king is nothing without his subjects. Any fool may claim a pile of rubble, but without people, you're just an empty title. Or a tyrant. No, oh, my boy. One cannot rule in a vacuum. You need to be a person. Their person. Not just a face on the throne. You may obtain riches and inherit lands, but in the end, true help lies in the hearts and minds of your people. You are only as powerful as the respect you command. Never forget this. Respect of my people? Ah, at last! The Patriarch speaks my language. Duty, service, loyalty. <laughs> we shall forge bonds everlasting. This, I swear. Uh, yeah, what he said. All right, I'm off to the inn. Griffith? At your side. Let's go then. <laughs> All right, placeholder in. I don't know if there's a reason I would go other places other than where the exclamation mark is at this point, but... This is the place, young master. Welcome to the placeholder! Can I get you something? Uh, hello. 
Well met. We would like to speak with the esteemed owner of this fine establishment. Post haste. You're weird. <laughs> Mister, why does your friend speak like a weirdo? Hmm. Gods, Griffith, you just can't reel it in, can you? I'm sorry, we don't want anything, thanks. Can we speak with the owner? Sure, what do you need? Wait, wait, I think I'm not getting through. The owner, as in the guy who owns this place? Yep. And that's you? Yep. But you're like, what, 12? All right, Griffith, yep. you win. Yep. Well, lend me a hand here. Hey, what's up, Turtle? Just playing some, uh... I, they say it's a JRPG. I don't know how J it is. It seems to be an RPG, though. Uh, it's, uh... Regalia. It's on the Nintendo Switch. It seems like a good one. You're the owner, then. Are you guys slow or something? What about that menacing gentleman behind the counter? Him? That's my dad. He works here. And? And Co owns the place, I guess. Aha! Thank you. That's what we wanted to hear. Huh, weirdos. Greetings. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm assuming it's an ARPG. Are you the owner of this inn? <laughs> I am Kay of House Lauren. I wanted to inform you that I... <laughs> well, uh, the rebuilding... Um, please stop staring at me like that. You're freaking me out. <laughs> so, uh, the weather's nice, yes? <laughs> Come on, give me something to work with. Mm. Uh, pretty please? Mm. Oh, for the love of... I don't answer, you know. What? Baz never speaks. What do you mean he never speaks? He can't speak? Mm, I don't know. I haven't ever heard him utter a word. How does he manage to run a tavern? That girl over there, Rilke, his daughter. She is a slips for all it's worth. I noticed he's a little... intense. Yeah, that's Baz. Staring the crap out of people one customer at a time. <laughs> and you are? Shichirochi. Or just Shichi. I used to fight in the war, and that's where I met Baz. Which war? Does it really matter? Well, we're veterans, good sirs. Spending our retirement running an inn in the ass end of nowhere. <laughs> it is a ton of RP. Are you also an owner? Eh, uh, no. I like to think of myself as a permanent guest who doesn't pay for his drinks. <laughs> and, uh, sometimes sleeps in the basement. So, you're a bum. Hey, some of us quit the war with dignity. Me, I got a hole in my wallet. Also gonorrhea. I see. I take it that the inn doesn't get many visitors. Nope. Supposedly, once upon a time, these crossroads were an oft-traveled trade route. That castle over yonder, heart of Ascalia, the jewel of Reshitul, blah, blah, blah. Long gone now, only roaches and rubble. Ah, uh, that's all right, Turtle. We, uh, we didn't play for long. We had a full group, I think. We had people in the audience, too. It was, it was a good time, but... Uh, people had to get to bed, so we didn't play too late either. I'm Kay of House Lauren. Ascalia once belonged to my family. Oh, yeah, indeed. You're here to fix things a bit, boy? 
More or less, yes. <laughs> Hear that, Baz? We got a keg over here. Business will flow again. <laughs> What'd you have to do, Derek? Well, oh, that's nice and all, but I'm afraid you'll be having some problems getting people to resettle. How so? It's because of the beast! They're afraid of the beast! <laughs> what manner of beast are you talking about, young lady? They say it's got three heads, and its eyes are like fire, and it shoots acid out of its rear? Truth be told, uh, no one knows. Huh. But it's true. Something stalks the woods, cutting animals. People are afraid of it. They say they can feel its eyes on their necks as they travel through the forest. Now... I've heard that even elves steer clear of these parts. Yet nobody has ever actually seen this beast. Nope. Sounds like a myth, no? Indeed. Yeah, well, myth or not, it scares people. Besides, you're the top dog around here now, laddie. If anybody should be worried about this, it's you. Hmm. Will you be slaying the beast, good sirs? Indeed we will. If it truly exists, we shall restlessly scour the land until we manage to plant a sword in its squishy yet monstrous forehead. W what? <laughs> oh, it's so exciting. Can you drop by later and tell us how it went? Papa loves stories. Right, Papa? <laughs> <laughs> On my honor. Well then, good luck, laddie. Happy hunting. I'll be raising a mug here, hoping for your, uh, non-demise. Uh, now wait a minute. We're gonna get into another combat here eventually. It's gonna happen. Grr. Grr. I'm so looking forward to this next combat. Uh, it's got me going up here to Castle Lauren again, maybe. She's in Town Square. As much talking as it is, I'm actually having fun with the game. Like, it's it's outside of the realm of what I normally play, so. <laughs> it's, it, uh, what's his name? Vin, it's Vin Diesel did the voice acting for that uh, tavern guy. Besides, nothing less than spirits falls in the side of the uh, evil beast slain. Assuming it exists. I must have skipped the first part of his says. Okay, yeah. If that beast truly exists, I say we find it before it deals any more damage. There we go. Besides, nothing less than spirits flawlessly as the sight of an evil beast slain. Yeah, with this game you have to press A every time to progress the chat, even if it's like naturally done talking. So it's a little interesting, I guess. Sometimes I forget, and it doesn't seem as fluid. Oh, great. So now we have some vaguely threatening beasts to worry about, huh? Yep. Holy cow, these people are so gullible. 
Against the town, make sure we see everything. Yeah. I think we venture forth and fight the beast. I am going to run and get something to drink, though, real quick before we uh, delve any further into that. It'll take me like five seconds, but I will be right back. Put my BRB screen up real quick. If I can find it. my computer desk. I think it's time we uh, go fight this vaguely described beast. Your quests have been updated, you have unlocked a new codex entry, and your character has arrived in your town. New characters have arrived in your town. Hmm. Find the beast. Some kind of monster is terrorizing the area. Go to the unassuming glade. Time to get cracking slowly. It's true that Ascalia needs you, but first things first. Alright. Okay, so I just have that one quest. Uh, new codex entry. Oh, that's a lot of reading. I will... Not read that. <laughs> it's going to be something very small and very hard to kill for some reason. Like in that, uh, in that Guild Wars dun uh, fractal where you have to fight the bunny. Spending time with characters. Each character has days when you can pursue their personal bond stories. This is indicated by an exclamation mark on over their heads. By gaining relationship points and advancing your personal bond levels, you unlock unique benefits related to the character in question. The most common way of gaining RP is through spending time with characters. To do so, choose Spend Time option from a character conversation menu. Whenever you have enough points to advance to the next personal bond level, a unique storyline cutscene will trigger. During these cutscenes, you will be able to influence Kay's choices, possibly gaining RP in the process. This, uh... Okay. Sorochi. Oh, so like, uh... That's kind of cool. Let's see what other characters... Oh. That's not what I want to do. I don't know what I just did. I'm going to back out of that and let it teach me as I go. But it looks like each character has their own kind of unlocking skills to RP thing. And uh, kind of kind of reminds me of Fire Emblem the Tactics games. Where the more time you invite people over and spend time with them, the better your relationship, and you can eventually get perks from that. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Okay, so there is quite a few characters. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can take anybody else. Beware of line of sight. You cannot kill what you cannot see. I like it. 
be interesting to see if they have like the partial cover mechanics or full cover type things where maybe use cover to your advantage. I don't know. Sitting there getting to press, press A. Tutorial traveling around Rash, Rash till its expanse. This is a general overview of the expanse. From here, you can journey between dungeons, event spots, and various other relevant points of interest. Traveling between two neighboring locations always consumes one in game day. Entering dungeons will reserve a fixed amount of days dependent on the dungeon's size. Should that number lower than should that number be lower than the number of days until a plot important deadline you will be unable to enter the dungeon not all dungeons are available right off the bat to unlock them you first complete the preceding dungeons in a given region don't wander around aimlessly though time is probably the most precious resource in regalia okay so this is your in-game calendar every year consists of nine months each composed of four weeks each week turns into a each week's composed of seven days. Got it. Alright, so it's Monk's Day, one of Loom. I don't know what that means, so. That's the Unassuming Glade. Yeah, it seems like a pretty deep game for what it is. It wasn't like overly expensive, I think it was like 25 bucks. So it took travel time, it looks like. So it's Trolls Day, too. And then if I click the dungeon, I'm assuming there's a certain amount of days. Yeah, three days to explore it. Looks like each day has an event on it. Dungeoneering Basics, every dungeon contains three types of nodes. Combat nodes, these involve battling the region's unfriendly denizens. Any party members that are defeated during battle will be rendered unavailable until you visit a camp node or leave the dungeon. Adventure nodes. These will engage your party in a short choose-your-own-adventure text quest. Um, some of them granting rewards and branching out from follow -up, into follow-up quests. Camp nodes. These are small free-roaming zones where you can gain bonus personal bond points with your party members, revive KO'd combatants, and save your game mid-dungeon. There are also... These are also the only nodes you can visit multiple times in a single dungeon run. Got it. Keep in mind that lock nodes cannot be accessed until you have cleared the neighboring nodes. So we gotta fight first off. Guessing the last ones where I meet the monster. I'm, I'm happy with this purchase so far. I think this is a fun little game. Looks like there's a lot to it too. So what exactly are we doing here, Griffith? Looking for the beast. And why are we doing this? To end its reign of terror and bring peace to the land. And what are our chances of the supposed beast appearing? Well, since we are in fact chatting casually in the middle of a seemingly lifeless forest, given the laws of narrative probability, I would say... It happens now! <laughs> Get ready, young master! What the hell? That our beast, Griffith? No, there's no way. It's a beast woman. You were saying? On second thought. Alright, so this time I'm going to play around with the shield mechanics early on. Get myself a little buffer, I think. Maybe I'll use the bodyguard as my fighter and my K. Lauren as my buff bot. Because he seems to be the only one with the shielding mechanic. So, let's deploy him here and him 
back here. And he can shoot from range too with his gun, so that might be a, that might be an okay idea. This guy or this girl looks like she might be some sort of a Let's go. Activation order. Activation order. Uh, have you noticed that this weird looking lady activated before you? How about we use this opportunity to explain some advanced combat mechanics, hmm? Activations take place in a strict order defined by the combatant's initiative value. While initiative remains a fixed value, there are numerous other ways to influence the order. A new turn begins when all combatants finish their activations. Okay, activation order is that top right corner, so... Let's, uh... Start out by... Can I not use that yet? So let's inspire. No line of sight. We'll put it there. Take this. All right. Now we will. Press X. I'm not done yet. Um. First, we'll move there. Can we shoot her then? No, we can't. Alright. We'll end his turn. At your side. For great Ooh, that chunked her hard. Okay. He's gonna stay where he's at. Or maybe move back here. face that direction. Oh, didn't want to do that. Oh well, that's fine. We're fine. We're good. We're fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Holy crap. Authority points. Authority points are shared by resource pool that can be spent to use blitz to execute its own skills. The party generates one authority point at the same at the start of every turn. It can be stored at any game of time. A combatant can use blitz. A maximum of 5 AP can be stored at any time. The combatant can use Blitz after performing their action, enabling them to act again using Blitz costs 1 AP. Okay, so that's how I was going multiple turns in a row, was these authority points that I gain once every turn. Alternatively, authority points can be spent to unleash combatant's ultimate skill. However, these game-changing abilities are powerful as they are as powerful as they are expensive. Each uses an ultimate skill cost 2 AP. Got it. So that's where my authority points are in the top left corner. That costs two authority points. That's why I can't use it. Okay, so I shouldn't have spent my authority points earlier. But can I shoot her right now? I think I can. I don't want to get in melee with her. Um, then I might end my turn backing away from her. She does like a point blank AoE. And I don't want to deal with side. that. Um, what does he got? Finishing touch. Okay, so that takes two authority points also. Dodged it. Okay. You're gonna move over here. We're gonna force her to move. I don't know if facing a direction matters. I dodged it. Okay, that's good. Okay. So now I think my plan is to shield up my other guy. Shield him up. Alright. And then I'm gonna call. Yeah, I'm not. I'm more than two squares away from other characters, so I'm good there. At your side. And then try this again. There we go. Chunked her a little bit. It's going a lot smoother than my first fight. We'll stay there. Be 
leave this to me. All right, so I'm just gonna shoot her. Watch this. There we go. I'm liking the combat. It's fun. Press B to cancel and undo stuff. All stuff anywhere. So just overall combat speed. Okay. Little two tips. The fabled beast appears to have slowed down. Yeah, I'm not a proud warrior. I've got a pistol. I can't. I can't say I'm not going to take advantage of it. She doesn't look like a bandit or a beast, for that matter. Why would she be terrorizing the locals? I do not think we can expect civil reasoning from her, sire. I would suggest caution in your attempt to communicate. You win. <laughs> You speak. There are no words between predator and prey, yes? In defeat, our roles are reversed. If words are shared, it shall be so by your choosing. What? Are you the beast that stalks Rashtil? Rashtil? Such a name is unknown to me. You speak of names, of names that impose boundaries, but these are not mine. We share a sky, but the boundary is not mine. The mark is not mine. The territory is not mine. I understood nothing. Neither did I. Packs, tribes, kin, rights. The Kelra way, our way, my way. To overcome enemies, we become beasts in spirit. I guess that explains the outburst. Sort of. There is strength in such bonds, as in all bonds born out of respect. We take only what is given and never force our way. I still cannot make heads or tails of what you're saying. <sighs> the beast chooses the man, and the man accepts the beast. But it is a process, not an act. Something to claw and strive for. For many days and many nights. Many moons that come and go. But the exact count is meaningless. One cannot return without finding the right beast. So unless I'm getting utterly confounded here, you're saying you are searching for your beast? Yes. And this search brought you here? Just so. I have never heard about this tribe of yours, these Kelra. The turtle and the eagle both share a sky. But though the turtle wonders about the clouds, he will never take flight, yes? Huh? It is a color unknown to your kind, much as yours is unknown to mine. Is she really the same girl who just tried to rip our throats out? But anyway... What does all of this mean? I am sorry, but I can't allow you to run around the woods anymore. I am a lord of sorts, of these lands, and I could really use some popular support. You aren't helping, you know. You need to leave. Then we are at odds. But as the victor, you are within rights to request so. If that is your will. What would happen if you were to abandon your right and go back home? My siblings would devour me whole. Uh, figuratively speaking? No. Young master? I know what you're about to ask me, Griffith, and I'm not sure I'll like it. Come now, we all follow our oaths, and hers seems to be of great import, to her at the very least. Well, we're in the middle of something ourselves, remember? You're asking me to put her own good above ours. No, I am asking you to be the man your father thought you would always be. Which is... The better man. Eh. Sire. Damn you, Griffith. What if we made a deal? 
The predator does not barter with prey. He does not want you to be his prey. He wants your lion speaks yet confuses. Elaborate. He wants you to be his partner, is what I think she said. Or he said. Lion? Come with us. We'll give you shelter and resources, and hopefully, it'll help you find your beast. A cage of wood and stone yields no answers. That may be so, but you won't have to stay in one. As a member of my retinue, I expect people to honor your special outdoor privileges. And, uh, small eccentricities. Emphasis on small. No doubt you would price this favor in my strength, yes? What for? You heard it yourself. We need all the hands we can get to rebuild the city. I am sure Master K would be very pleased with such a capable warrior as yourself. I see. Then the boon is granted, and so I will join your pack. I shall follow the duckling and the lion so that together we may fulfill our oaths. Duckling? Really? Why do I get a duckling while you get to be a lion? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> now, uh, the girls. I have a feeling this will take a long, long while to explain to Gwen. Alright, so we go to camp next, I believe. Got a, probably another party member now, which would be nice. Seems like she's pretty tough. Let's see what everybody has to say. There is no cow level. <laughs> save game. Aside from your town, camp notes are the only place where you can save your game. Interacting with the book icon will enable you to access the save menu. While camp notes can be visited multiple times, you can only revive your KO'd character once per camp note and not necessarily on your first visit. To do that, interact with the whatever that icon is. Looks like a bed. I'm guessing it's a bed icon. Got it. All right, so let's see what these people got to say. You are aware of your fearsome reputation in these parts, I assume. My pilgrimage brought me no harm upon my uh, my pilgrimage brought no harm upon your kin. A Kelra pursues revelation, not slaughter. Perhaps I did not intend to question that. The fact remains, however, that some have already denounced you as a local menace. Some even come after you. Let them come. It matters not. There are but words empty and without sting, like a buzz of a bumblebee. Let them come. I'm gonna give her the, uh, you're with us now, we'll handle this together. Just so there is strength in unity, the duckling is wise to acknowledge that. May your totem For now, let's continue on our journey. Yes. All right. So I'm gonna save. I think this is the first time I've saved. I'm still in the tutorial. Okay. On my honor. Ready to march on your command, young master. I wanted to click the, the exit dungeon. I didn't want to click him. Your firewalls don't have to be boring. Press left stick when targeting to rotate any place will spawn. 
replaceable spawn by your skills. Fire walls. Okay. We'll have to mess around with that. So left stick while targeting to rotate any placeable spawn by your skills. I'm assuming that's to cover different squares. You're about to exit the woods when suddenly Signet gestures you to wait. Something's not right. What's wrong, Signy? Men around, the scent is clear. We are being followed. I don't see any... Before you could finish your sentence, with a timing so impeccable that it would border on comedic, a hatchet flies by your head, sinking its blade in the nearest tree trunk. Men of somewhat questionable looks emerge from the greenery, surrounding your small party. Their leader, a broad-shouldered brute with a charm of a burlap sack, proceeds to clap in obvious mockery. The man whistles and laughs, earning a low snarl from Signy. The famous beast of Rashatil. Who would have guessed? For someone so fun-sized, you have a pretty hefty reputation. Hell, it's a wonder you ain't a dragon. Ah! Uh... I'm a proud K of House Loren. I think I'm going to go with the I command you to stand down. Oh, but of course, Your Highness, he offers a sarcastic bow. In case you haven't noticed, this ain't your playground anymore. Rashtal no, Rashtal needs no stinking nobles. Leave the girl and scram, kid. Yeah, she's under my protection. He draws his weapon and motions at his henchmen. Good, because that's the plan. Bring the girls, bring me the girl, fellas. Let's fight this guy. Give him the what fur. Defeat all enemies, win the battle in seven turns, get a challenge, and defeat enemies, two enemies with a single blow, or single ability, to get the other challenge. Let's see how much health these guys got. Can I look at them yet? Nope, probably not. Alright, so same plan, I'm gonna place my main character back a little bit, place these guys up, and I think I'm gonna attack one side first. Uh, let's let's reset deployment. Let's do this side first, because there's clearly a caster on the side I don't want to deal with. And we'll go from one side to the next. That looks good. Objective of the yes. challenges. Not every battle ends when you defeat your opponents. Some may have unique objectives to fulfill aside from the objective. Battle often comes with a separate list of optional challenges to complete. Completing the challenges grant bonus experience on victory and increases the chance of attaining com combat loot. You can always review your ongoing combat objectives and challenges by opening the battle menu. Press blank to open it. <laughs> That's not helpful. Okay. It's okay if you fail a challenge, though. You shouldn't feel obligated or obliged to complete that if it's optional stuff. But in the case, just in case, if you happen to be a masochistic completionist, I have to warn you, they're often quite brutal. Additional options. In the battle menu, you can see the combat log, allowing you to track all technical combat information. Example, your rolls to hit or damage calculations. You can adjust current combat speed from 1 to 4. I knew that. Forfeit button in battle menus allows the party to withdraw from the current battle. Doing so will reset the party status. The item stock is to the state from before entering combat. Note that some battles like this one cannot be retreated from. In such cases, the button will be absent. Skip button in battle menus allows you to automatically win the battle. You can only do this in story mode. We are not playing story mode, though. We are playing normal mode. Holy crap. In regalia, many of the abilities with... Will require a line of sight for you to target, holding the right stick during combat, display which obstacles can block your line of sight. You can hold ZL to bring up the combat combatant's health shields and effects. Additionally, pressing left stick will target 
allow you to ro rotate any placeable spawn your skills, point a combatant and press A to display the detailed statistics of them. Got it. Okay. A lot of that stuff, stuff I've already learned. Move her up. And what abilities does she have? Pounce, leaps through the air, ignoring obstacles. Can I go back? I can go back. I wonder if my pounce will reach if I go there. It will. Okay. Okay. Whirling attack and rage deals damage equal to 15%. hits. Okay, so I don't have... That's her ultimate ability. I'm going to pounce, though. Right here. And I missed. Great. Well, that's her turn. Let's see how far these guys can move. Not very far. up there. Oh, strike. I did not mean to do that. Oh, I ended his turn without shooting. That's unfortunate. Can I dash through him? I believe I can. Okay, so I can't because my character's there. So we're going to move right here. Challenge this guy. And we'll call that a turn. Hmm. We move now, yes. What is the pounce? Okay, it's only adjacent. Can I bounce, pounce right there? No, line of sight. Line of sight, okay. So line of sight's an issue. But I can go right back here. And then I will... Whirlwind. Let us strike. You're going to this. No. Move him here. Maybe bring, hopefully, bringing that other NPC in within her whirlwind. Oh wait, I don't want to do that though, because there is friendly fire. Can I not go back? Apparently I cannot go back.
Okay. Well, that was unfortunate. Maybe I'll move her, though, next turn, so that he won't get hit by it. And mm, that turn. A curious thing. This hurts you. Yes, yes. Um. So, she... The problem with her attack is she's going to hit my guy as well. I think we're going to do it anyways. He's going to hit two of them. Oh, he dodged it. That's nice. That worked out perfectly. Um, and we're going to keep her there. She's got a shield on her right now, too, so... This guy's really weak. How oh, they hit him. Okay, that's nice. I like that. Uh, next turn, I'll be able to shield him. Right now, I'm kind of needing to just do as much damage as I can and move him out of melee of with my other character. Right at you. So I'm gonna move him. I think I can arcing slice with my other character. Move him here. The time is now. And not hit. Signy. That looks right. Alright, one down. Nice. And I'll move him just outside of combat. And then the turn. A curious thing. She's a beast. On the prowl. Alright, she's gonna do her spinning attack again. Oh, I can't do that. Takes two turns. Let's try that. Rescue. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll take that. I'm gonna move her over here. She's gonna deal with this guy, and I'm gonna bring my other guy in for Crescent Strike if I can. So I'm not going to shield next turn since I used that ability point, or attribute point, or whatever it was. She hasn't been hit yet, she's the one with the shield. Um, oh, we got to move him first. Alright, I think if I move him here, I can hit both of those guys. But I don't have that ability right now. I'm gonna down that mage. Yes, yes. Alright. Pounce. Whirlwind and Rage. Savage Roar. I think Whirlwind's the way I go with that. I don't know how many turns it's been, but seven was the challenge, I believe. Let's go. I didn't beat any of them in a single ability, though. I probably could have if I would have timed my ability points right. I will just shoot this guy. Right at you. Point blank. And then move that guy back. At your side. Mm. 
That guy's dead. We are not done yet. Move him just in case I need another attack on that guy. She has no attacks. So she's going to pull. Ah, she just ended her turn, I guess. Oh, she was stunned. Battle though. Victorious. Resources found. Treasure found. Captain's Blade times one. And I got, yep. Got one of the challenges done. That was kind of cool. Bringing this adventure to an end, I might call it there once I get back to town to save. So five total days have gone by, traveling there and back, plus the three days for the dungeon. Hmm? Uh, another miss. Lick clean. Avram, why can't a man make a decent profit anymore? Not that I'm complaining. Maybe the castle would be more fruitful. Hello. Uh, oh, uh, hello. <coughs> hello. Uh, mighty fine weather for a stroll. Am I right? Yep. Are you here for a walk too? Ah, uh, no. Not precisely. I am on a walk, yes. But it is a different kind of walk. A gilded walk of spreading joy and awe to all whom I may encounter. I am Haksun ibn al-Andoran, purveyor of goods most wondrous, wandering merchant supreme, and uh, most certainly not one of those street peddlers who would shank you for a stray copper. <laughs> oh, then you must have come to see my brother. I'm afraid uh, your meaning eludes me. But if you pardon me asking, what is a nice young lady like yourself doing in a place like this? I live here. Uh, you live here? As in, here, here? I know. I'm sorry about the mess, but it's a recent thing. My brother just became the lord of that castle. See? Over there! Oh, is that so? <laughs> Well, well, things just got very, very interesting. Perhaps there is good money to be made here, after all. <laughs> this is a most fortuitous development. I would be delighted to exchange goods with your brother. That is, uh, with your permission, my fair lady. But of course! I'm sure he'll be overjoyed to have you. Ah, splendid! Well then, all that remains is a handshake to cement our joyous agreement. Am I right? Shall we? <laughs> Don't trust that guy. I trust him about as far as I can throw him. Which is actually probably pretty far, he's kind of a small fellow.
All right, so we're going to go back to the castle. See what they have to say and save. Definitely a quest objective here, so we'll, we'll go through that and then we'll see where we're at. <laughs> oh, joy. Please don't make a habit out of collecting half naked women in our castle. She needed our help. That and she may yet turn out to be useful. Oh, here, here, the younger speaks. The youngster speaks the truth. You shouldn't shun such occasions, boy. dear boy. There are many more to come, and you need to make the best of them. Huh? What do you mean? As you grow in prestige, powerful individuals may cling to your presence. You would be wise to include them in your inner circle. Temper their trust into an asset, and you will surpass every obstacle. No. Meh. Gwendolyn ain't having it. What now, Grandfather? One way or another, you, s you seem to have grasped the basics of what it means to be a ruler. The long journey, however, only begins. Crucie? <sighs> Cruche? I don't know what that word is. Aye. Him and more. This oh, okay, he was the debt collector. This debt collector or this debt cannot be settled overnight overnight. If he is to keep a tight leash on your kingdom, we need to entice him with a prospect, a prospect of growth. But fear not, after all, you have me. I can offer you guidance, you know, experience the direction that comes with it and the direction that comes with it. Set your goals, focus your attention. It's better to work towards something concrete, don't you think? I suppose you're right. Here, your tasks will be. Well, let's see. Your objectives for the next two months shall be. Complete the following objectives to clear the chapter. Have pl five plus kingdom quests completed. Your deadline for these objectives is Song Day 28 Ascent, night 1093 CC. So I have 51 days left to complete five kingdom quests. Objectives updated. Well, what are you waiting for? Get to it, chop chop. Seems like the uh, cinematics are going a little faster now that we've got kind of the tutorial underway. Which, eh, you'll, you'll have that in most games, I think. Either that or I'm just getting used to him now. Alright, deadlines and priorities. You have just received a complete list of tasks required to restore Escalia. These are collectively called Kingdom Quests. You can always check the status and required quotas of Kingdom Quests in the quest logs under the menu. Completing Kingdom Quests represent the effort and growth needed to, to stave off the debt collector. Every two months, the debt collector will come and evaluate your progress. If you don't meet the required quotas, it's game over. Ooh. In addition to the King's Quest, some chapters may issue a story quest. Completing these should take priority above everything else, as neglecting to do so will fail the chapter regardless of the number of completed Kingdom Quests. Got it. Alright, this concludes our little sense of the walls of text. Remember, if you, something remains unclear, you can always review the tutorials by choosing help in the pause menu. Good luck and try not to screw up, will you? Alright, so we got through the brunt of the text, it looks like. Um, where is my safe spot in this place? Venture forth, diplomatic missions to the town. The party has leveled up. Perk slot available, your companions grow stronger. So let's look at those. Alright, character sheet, your character sheet displays. 
chosen character. While certain attributes may increase with experience levels, it is up to you to fill the gaps with the proper customization. Holding A, holding A on a weapon and trinket slot allows you to swap characters' equipment. Although weapons types are strictly assigned to specific characters, trinkets are universal and can be equipped by anyone. Each character can further modify the perks. These are shared between all your characters and can be locked through various in-game activities like personal bonds, diploma dip diplomacy, and so on. Pressing A on an empty perk slot will open the perks selection menu. Each perk has a fixed equipment cost, representing the amount of the perks should take. Slots the perk will take. More perks are gained with experience levels. A level up increases the amount of available slots by one. You can change your perks here. You can change your weapons and trinkets here. This is your party level. Instead of an individual level up, your party experience gets experience as a whole. Okay, that's cool. You have an empty perk slot to fill. Click here on How do I get up there? There we go. Loud and clear skill morph. That takes up two. Uh, command can now be used regardless of the line of sight to the target. Command was... Command, I believe, was the marking of the enemies. Hey, what's up, Katakis? This is Regalia of Men and Monarchs. It is a tactical RPG. And we just went through the brunt of the tutorial. As Turtle has said, it is a long intro, but we got through it. I think we're winding down for the stream, but trying to wrap some stuff up before we save. Quick thinking. Plus four initiative. I kind of like that. Think plus four initiative and vitality for now. That'll help me out in the long run, I think. Once I get better at using command, I'll probably switch it over, but I believe command was... Oh, gains 20, grants 20% 20 of maximum shields to SP to target if used on an ally. Okay, so that is a shielding ability. I'll have to look at that later. I have a new unlock, new unlock kingdom quests. Um, okay, so that's just all the little quests that I have to get done. And it looks like there's sections for each one, so there are plenty of quests to do. The quests have been updated. Okay, I don't have any active quests. I completed the adventure and two of the regular quests. New codex entry, that's really long text wall, I believe. Yep. New characters have arrived in your town. Who's arrived? Okay. This is the, the beast that we just unlocked. Yeah, this this reminds me a lot of Final Fantasy Tactics, actually. Um, it's not as customizable class-wise, but the combat's very similar. Um, okay, so we got to switch characters. We have a lot of characters in town now. And as you can see, we can earn reputation with all of them. This one's ready to level up, it says. Spend the character spend time with the character to improve the bond. Okay, so if I spend time with her, I should level her up. She's the only one that's ready to level up right now. New characters will fight by your side. Okay, so, okay, I have perks for each one of these characters to put in. Uh, she already has a crazy initiative. I think Brawler and Health are good for her. I think I got a sword. No available weapons. I'm guessing he gets the sword. Captain's Blade times one. Uh, does that... I don't know. 
Wish I could see the stats on it. Oh, there it is. Plus 5% damage. Okay, so that's better. Yes, definitely better. Okay, and I think I'm going to go with initiative. And vitality with him. He seems to be the tankier of the guys. And then that is... Did I have trinkets? I don't think I had any trinkets, right? No, I didn't. Okay. Okay. I have 51 days to complete the 5 plus quests. I'm guessing now would be a good town construction. Okay. I'm guessing now would be a good time for me to save. If I can figure out where to do that. Yeah, I think, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm going to try to play it all just on stream, so that way... I have a catalog of my playthrough, because um, Twitch will automatically archive them. I don't know if there's a way for me to... Oh, this isn't where I wanted to go, okay. The armory. So I guess the, the different doors do lead to different stuff. I didn't realize that. I thought they all just left the to the town. I wonder if rest is where I need to go to save. Town square. I thought there was like a book icon I had to hit to save. Family tree, armory. Nope, that's gonna waste days. Is it just the minus button, like up in the corner? I hope that's my inventory. X, what does that do? That's my schedule. Okay, so it tells me where all the characters are going to be at what times. That's kind of cool. Where do I save? I'm going to look that up real quick. save game. Oh, okay. Save over. Okay, so that should be the newest one. Alright. Alright. We're going to call the stream there, but uh, it, Twitch should auto-archive the video if you wanted to check out any more of the game, if you missed the beginning of it. Uh, it's very story intensive, at least at the beginning. Uh, but it's worth it, and it's uh, a lot of it is voice acted, so it's pretty easy to follow. Um, but yeah, my first first combat was a little rough, getting used to everything. I almost wiped completely, but I liked it a lot. And the second one went a little smoother, and the third one was pretty smooth overall too. So, um, gonna try to continue this game on stream and just kind of play it by ear when I have free time, but thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.